Hi everyone, my name is Max Solis and I work for Master Medical Equipment. Today we're going to be talking about the LTV 1200 manufactured by Viair Medical. Out of the box, the LTV 1200 comes with the ventilator itself, an AC adapter, a strap hand, Christmas tree that hooks up on the side, which allows you on the LTV 1200, allows you to hook up to uh, low flow oxygen. And also on the LTV 1200, allows you to either run off uh, high flow or low flow oxygen. Quick reference guide, operator's manual, and for your biomed, your certificate of testing and your medical device tracking for FDA purposes. Turning the ventilator on and off. Simply press on. One press of the button on standby, the ventilator turns on. Turning it off. Safety purposes, you can't press once and it won't shut off. You have to hold the button down three to five seconds for it to shut off. Silence reset is our safety. And that's just making sure we really want to shut off the ventilator. Turning the ventilator back on. The ventilator can be run in volume and pressure. To switch from one to the other, currently we're in pressure. We're going to switch from volume, whichever mode is being highlighted or whatever we're currently using on the ventilator itself is highlighted. Whatever's dimmed or dashes is not being used. So for instance, dimmed, we're not using currently. So right now volume is not being used. Pressure is being highlighted. Pressure is currently being used. Pressure control of 21. I'm going to switch from pressure to volume. Simply press once, it's blinking volume. I have to press twice, one more time to confirm. And we are now in pressure or in volume. Press again, pressure is blinking. I press one more time and we're back in pressure control. Let's do that again. Press once. Press again to confirm. I am now in volume ventilation. Switch back to pressure. Press once, confirm. I am now back in pressure control. Okay. Modes of ventilation. Control, assist control. SIMV CPAP, NPPV. NPPV is Bayer Medical's mode of non-invasive ventilation. Okay. We're going to toggle through these a couple of times just to show you how they operate. All right. So press. Notice MPPV is blinking. Set IPAP. Set our inspiratory pressure for non-invasive positive pressure ventilation. That's our non-invasive mode on this ventilator. Pressure support lights up because it's a non-invasive mode of ventilation, meaning the patient has to breathe, do all the breathing on their own. With the dot set value knob, the dial, you dial in the value of the inspiratory CPAP you want, or BiPAP you want, by level you want. Once you find the right level, or that the, the level the doctor ordered, you press set, set EPAP. That's the expiratory pressure for the non-invasive ventilation the doctor ordered. Your PEEP pops up. Once you set that correctly to what the doctor ordered, Confirm, the machine's up and running. We're now ventilating the patient non-invasively. Whatever's dimmed is not currently being used. And we know we're in a pressure mode of ventilation. We know it's non-invasive, positive pressure ventilation. The key thing when we're in non-invasive, positive pressure ventilation, MPPV, 
We want to use a non-vented mask because our exhalation valve is located on the circuit itself, the exhalation valve. Okay, we're gonna switch out of that simply by pressing once, twice to confirm. We're now back in a control or assist control mode of ventilation. You notice we switched off pressure control. We're back in a pressure control mode of ventilation with a breath rate of 20, an eye time of 0.3, FO2 of 21%, sensitivity of two. So flow triggered. To switch from assist control to SIMB CPAP, simply press twice. To go into CPAP mode, dial out my rates with the set value knob. And now, patient's doing all the work of breathing on their own. All we're doing is supporting them with pressure support and whatever air file to we've dialed in. So whatever is dashes or whatever is dimmed, we're not currently using. So current mode of ventilation here is pressure, control, or pressure, SIV CPAP, pressure support of 20 of uh, 12, high peak, that's me, I'm breathing for him. Silence reset. Let's go ahead and get out of that motor ventilation by simply pressing a rate. And put a breath rate of 10. We're now back in an SIMB mode of ventilation. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the ventilator off. Hold the button down three to five seconds. Silence reset. Okay, so with the LTV 1200, one of the settings, O2 cylinder duration, I'm able to set based on these settings that we have for the current patient. I can determine based on my FO2 and based on the patient's settings, both machine breaths and patient spontaneous breaths, I can determine how long the oxygen tank is going to last based on his current breath rate and his tidal volume minute ventilation is going to last for us on his current settings. So I hit select O2 cylinder duration. I hit cylinder type, I hit select. I determine which cylinder size I have. So for instance, this uh, 622 liters is an E-tank. I'm gonna hit select, cylinder type. That's it, scroll to the next one. Cylinder pressure, how much pressure do I have in that, in that tank? I'm going to go 2200, hit select, and I'm going to hit calculate. And my calculation is based on my current settings and how much oxygen I'm using. And here we go. So based on current minute ventilation and how much oxygen we're currently using. So I don't have an FO2 set, obviously, for this demonstration purposes, but I have 99 hours left and 59 minutes based on these current settings. Now, the key is you're gonna to have to recheck this calculation ever so often to see how much time we have left based on this tank settings and the patient's ventilation. So if the patient stays set, uh, stable and, no, and none of the settings change, we're pretty good with these settings, but you're still gonna to wanna to keep checking ever so often to see how much, how much time we have left based on the based on the pressure of the tank and the patient's ventilation to see how much duration we have left on the tank itself. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this information, please subscribe below.